can look at content and the value of content to take all that information and put it into a priority so that the end user, the audience, or whoever you're communicating with really sees some value in that particular piece of information called content. The information flow is not going to change. It's always going to continue. There's 60 million blogs, there's 2 billion people online right now in this planet. 78% you know, of the Americans are online. There's always going to be information. The question is how do you narrow it so that you can narrow that, that, that valve? And we think that content is the way to do that. There is no question that within content is messaging and relationships. Um, what we believe is important is that you focus certain characteristics around the message. Um, the message has to be story driven. Um, it has to engage. It has to have an emotional hook. Um, it should be useful. It should fundamentally look at something that's current and that it's involved in some type of activity that is real time, that happens now. Um, that the message should be flexible enough to know that there are multiple channels, as you say, looking at ways in which you're seeing that communications, whether it's online or an event or on the traditional media, so that it's flexible and shareable and searchable. It's how we remember things. Um, we're authors of our own lives, and that is a story. And what's wonderful about a story is it's, it's an emotional hook into something that gives you a sense of something that is informational, but also draws an emotional connection. And a powerful story, if told well, has a beginning, middle, and end. There is some sort of change that takes place, a jeopardy perhaps, something is challenging, but then there's a resolution. And when you look at storytelling, the best stories have characters who really sort of stem the tide, who stand out. And that's where the emotionality comes in, whether it's in the form of a classic hero. But stories, what we know about stories is that they're universal, and they cross cultures, they cross boundaries. They cross geographies, and it's that way of connecting that fundamentally comes from a story that makes us feel human. We define content as the development, management, and distribution of stories that connect audiences across all channels, driving engagement and leading to activation. Now that sounds very lofty, but basically what that really means is it starts with the brand and this organization, this company, and you need to engage, you need to build that reputation, and you activate it. And the process by which you do that requires content, and content has certain qualities to it. And what happens is it moves from the creation of content to the distribution, in other words, where does it go? And how is it managed? And the management we see is the following things. It starts with insights, which is research. It then moves to strategy. From there, it goes into an alignment. What are the logistics? From that point of view, then you start creating. Content just doesn't just happen because it's supposed to happen. It has to have all that arc before that. And then it's sustained. There's a sustainment and then basically make sure that the content lives. So that's what we see as content relationships. And that's one of the ways to drive message and make sure that it fits into that world of information that is so awash, so that we're so awash in.